Hey, what's up guys? I've seen a lot of posts in the YouTube community asking about how people store their YouTube videos and all of the files. And some of the answers that I see are things like extra hard drives inside the computer, different types, external hard drives, extra SD cards, USB sticks, or I've seen that people are actually deleting part of the footage that they don't require anymore, or crazy enough, even deleting all the data and files after the video has been uploaded to YouTube. Well, for me, I use this 22 hard drive storage server. So to give you some context on file sizes, most of my videos are filmed around the 1080p resolution, so currently my hard drive for storing YouTube projects is sitting at 2.4 terabytes of space used. And these are unfinished videos. All my uploaded videos are transferred and stored onto the hard drives in this server, which you'll see later on is using about 1.35 terabytes. And for those using filming at 4K or even 8K, these sizes to store this data would be significantly more. So when my hard drive was filling up initially, I knew I had to do something about it. And that's where this 20 bay hard drive server comes in handy. Each of the hard drives are hot swappable. So if I need to remove a hard drive and replace it by upgrading to a bigger size, or I can just remove and actually store it separately, I can do that quite easily on this server. Now, this server I picked up secondhand for around $200. Now, that included all 20 hard drives already installed, and they're all 2 terabyte hard drives as well. So, with the PCI extender cards, we're able to run four hard drives in one PCI express lane. And when you add on the extra SATA ports on the motherboard, we're able to run those 22 hard drives. Now, I've just got basic essential components in there for the rest of the computer, which is just a normal gaming computer with all the extra hard drives in it. So I built myself a bit of a server rack. It sits under the computer, connects into the network, and I've also got two UPSs that are installed underneath that. Now one UPS runs my actual gaming computer and the other UPS is connected to the hard drive server. Now it is all filtered through the side via this mesh filter. So that stops a lot of the dust getting through into the front of that, those cases. Now to stop the dust coming in through the front, I've put a seal around the box and I've created this perspex sheet which I've bent to fit exactly around the front of the server case. Now once that's placed on the front, that seals off and all the air has to come through the side, being filtered and not clogging up the computer. So when I open up the server, you can see here all the hard drives are installed, all the 2 terabyte except for that 4 terabyte hard drive and the smaller solid state hard drive which is running the operating system. So each of these drives works independently. If I wanted to in future, I could set them up in RAID to have them back up the hard drives if needed, but at the moment I'm happy to have them as independent drives. Now, I also have filled up the 4 terabyte hard drive at the moment, and what I'm using it for is a large NAS. So the server runs 24 seven, I've connected it up to the network, it runs out to all the media players in the house, and we don't need to use my gaming computer as the media server. So that's it from me, hope you liked this video, like, subscribe, stick around for some more of my videos, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.